Sonic Frontiers will be the greatest Sonic game ever made. Next is Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, of course. With all the new information, interviews with folks who have played the game, and leaks that have surfaced across the interwebs the past few weeks, I have extremely high hopes for Sonic Frontiers. Now I'm the type of person to pick up and play any and every Sonic game and formulate my own unique opinion, regardless of what the mass majority is saying. I mean, I love Sonic 06, I think Sonic Colors is awful, Sonic Heroes is actually a great game, and Sonic Chronicles for the DS is easily the most underrated game in the franchise. Even when the initial Sonic Frontiers gameplay from IGN released and everyone was talking about how rough it looked, I was still extremely excited for it. I've been looking forward to a Sonic game with full-on combat, 3D exploration, and a great story for a long time, and it seems this game will deliver on all those fronts. It's been a long time since we had a good 3D Sonic game, the last one being Sonic Generations in 2011. It's been 11 years, but I think Sonic is back. Will Frontiers be a perfect game? Probably not, but at least it appears to be headed in a better direction than the trash we've gotten in the past decade. There seems to be mixed reception from folks who have played the demo of the game at conventions, but the majority seems to be positive. The biggest critiques I've seen are regarding the cyberspace levels and difficulty of the game. But to be fair, the demo literally has you play the beginning of the game, so I don't think we should be expecting anything too intense quite yet. From what I've seen of the second island though, the Desert Island, I'm predicting the game will get more challenging and exciting as you progress through the story. I think the puzzles will get harder, bosses will kick your ass more, and the cyberspace levels will switch up and possibly get longer. The game is also said to be over 30 hours long to complete the main story. Now I've played a lot of RPGs and I doubt it'll take that long to complete the base game, but to complete it 100%, as in collecting everything and finding all the secrets the game has to offer, I could see Sonic Frontiers maybe taking that long. But it's not always about the length of the game that matters. I believe in quality over quantity. I do think the story will have Sonic fans engaged enough to keep them playing for the full duration of the game. I think there'll be a large variety of things within the game to keep all players interested. My only skepticism about the game comes from the cyberspace levels, which are basically bite-sized boost levels. Most people have been saying that they don't control right or are too short. However, while this may be the weakest part of the game, it was already stated that the cyberspace isn't the majority of what the game has to offer. Apparently the platforming and the way Sonic controls in the open zones is a lot of fun and actually done quite well. If cyberspace is only about a third of the game, then I don't mind them not being 100% on par with everything else. I think the developer sees cyberspace as more of minigames, or the equivalent of the Breath of the Wild shrines in which that's how you progress the story but it's not where all the focus is. The focus on Breath of the Wild is the exploration and seeing the world. Cyberspace is basically shrines, which is fine, as I can see them getting longer and harder on the other islands. I think if we ever get a sequel to Frontiers, then the cyberspace levels could be more refined if that's the direction they still intend to go. But for now, cyberspace isn't going to make or break the game, at least not for me anyways. Where the game is really going to shine though is in its combat, leveling up system, story, and open zone. That's really where the game's core focus seems to lie. From the leaks I've seen, this is gonna be such an incredible game. I won't spoil anything in this video, but man, it's gonna be one hell of a journey. In a good way, of course. I already have so many questions, and I'm hoping we will finally expand the lore of Sonic's world within this game. The game is taking itself a lot more seriously with its darker atmosphere and more involved story. Like I said, I think there are gonna be way more things to be excited for than to bash on regarding the game. Sure people are noticing some graphical issues and are disappointed with the cyberspace levels that we've seen, but the bosses, combat, story, open world platforming, and everything else seem to be great. This is easily a better direction for Sonic, and I'm excited to see where it all goes. But what do you guys think? Are you guys excited for Sonic Frontiers? If so, what parts of the game are you most excited to see? The game comes out in little over a month since the time of making this video, so I'd also love to see some predictions down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our awesome Sonic animations over on our second channel, Real Life Glitch Entertainment. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.